Now, I know what you're thinking, yeah, I'm a little bit late to the trend of hating on mobile game ads. Whoa, 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 calm down, it's only like a couple of years or something. Whoa, a knife? This is America, it's okay to own a gun here. Well, so as of recently, I've been consistently running into ads for a game called Rise of Kingdoms, and these ads are just so absurd, so strange, so unrealistic that I just had to make a video on them. Hey gamers, welcome back to XX underscore I despise these kingdoms 70 underscore XX, and today I'm gonna review Rise of Kingdoms ads. More specifically, the real life ones, or what I like to call them, they're darn man ads. Stupid lady loses at Rise of Kingdoms? What happens next is shocking. My boyfriend's been playing ROK like crazy. He chooses the Spanish civilization, saying it was because they have buffed cavalry and fast growth early game. He's already leading a 100 strong alliance. My boyfriend's playing too. Does every boyfriend play Rise of Kingdoms in this universe? He's really into the Bushido spirit of the samurai, so he picked Japan. They call him God of Death. You can tell that's two different takes cut together. Lately, he's been facing off against other alliances every day. Are your boyfriends Martin and Tom by any chance? Assuming this lady does not know the other two, this is really creepy. Does she just go around asking people that? Also, the yellow lady's lines are very obviously dubbed over. Are your boyfriends Martin and Tom by any chance? I'm really sorry, I just wrecked them. What? what? You, you play, play Rise, Rise of, of Kingdoms, Kingdoms too? Okay, now it's even more obvious that this is all dubbed over. The lady in the black shirt had a voice coming out before her mouth moved. What? You, you play Rise, Rise of, of Kingdoms, Kingdoms too? No, no way! How'd, How'd you, you do, do it? it? The recently added Viking civilization. The previously even playing field is now a minefield of variables. She's making it sound like they completely unbalanced the game after it was perfectly fine before. What is this, mobile? Who knows who the strongest is? Not gonna lie, this poorly synced voice acting is making me think of Trim Trim now. The Smith detects the suspicious sound of wheels. Relax. It's not a toy, it's just a pencil sharpener. Then can go back to learning. If you win, I'll tell you how to make five million. Five million? Deal! Five million what? Five million US dollars or five million Zimbabwe dollars? What are they doing? I'm genuinely curious. Oh, now I gotta play this game. If you win, you get to smack people. Yeah, finally. Tell me how to get five million power in ROK. Come on, what are you waiting for? You won! Slap him! He's basically asking for it, look at his face! The secret is, choose the Vikings. Another video telling me how overpowered these Vikings are. Are these ads sponsored by Scandinavian people or something? Vikings? Shouldn't you be French? I saw you pick French! I pick French already! Hey, that's what I said at the Unborn Babies convention around one and a half decades ago. Turns out someone else beat me to it and ended up going to America instead. How come I only have 1 million power and you have 5 million? Don't forget, you can switch ROK civilizations at any time. I used Francis' gathering bonus early on to quickly accumulate basic resources and complete construction. Why did the pitch of his voice go up so much? My berserkers are the strongest warriors in the game. All the other players, including you, are just here to add to my resources and experience. And now it's back down. Don't be so smug. Now I know how to change civilizations. Just give me a week. I'm gonna build 10 million power in ROK and absolutely smash you. <laughs> Not if I beat you to it. I see you only have 50,000 power. Did you just start playing? What kind of response is that? Three days later. Can they do that? Can they use the SpongeBob transition in their ads? Is that legal? Wow, five million power in just a <laughs> few days? How'd you do it? Well, when I started out... Did this guy just shove his mic down his throat to record this audio or something? I chose the Romans. The Romans have a resource gathering bonus, which allows you to quickly get tons of- Aren't you scared mm -hmm. of other players ganging up on you? Why is there a space in the contraction? They did this earlier too. Not really. While others are slowly, painfully developing their armies, the Romans are forced to be reckoned with. Once everyone else has a fledgling army, you're unstoppable. You may be unstoppable, but I just want you to stop putting spaces in the contractions. With Caesar leading your infantry. Wow, he just absolutely destroyed that beta female. You go, Mr. Sigma. Rise of Kingdoms, but my Germany is getting slaughtered. 
I like how he says my Germany. This is my Germany, my pretzels, my beer, my Adolf Hitler. Is it the King Seven? The guy with 80 million power. Holy crap, guys, 80 million power? And the guy in the envelope slap ad was only offering 5 million. What a loser. Yeah, the King Seven. Who is the King Seven? He plays England. He's invincible, almost supernatural. One time, he totally floored my Japanese ninjas with his elite bowman. Yeah, they say he's never lost a game of ROK. That's called hacking, honey. It's true. We once tried to lay siege to him, but got wrecked. Why do they keep saying wrecked? This isn't the early days of the internet anymore, you know? <gasps> no! No, 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 no! It's him! He's here! The King Seven just took my city. I'm ruined. Come on, guys. It can't be that bad. I bet she only has 50,000 power. What a weakling. You have no idea what just happened. I think I might. <gasps> Top 10 anime betrayals. Could I join your alliance, please? Our alliance doesn't allow for low power. This is literally just Darman plots now. Like, we know where this is going already. Three days later. <laughs> what? What is this background? Why was the audio recorded off of a Nokia phone? Why? Why? Our alliance won't allow for low power. 10 million power? How the heck do you do that? Well, it's important to choose the right civilization in the beginning. I chose the Japanese civilization, which has a 5% resource gathering speed buff and a 30% scout march speed buff. He became a pro gamer. I could have never predicted this. I love that music in the background of his smug explanation. Well, I got 10 million power by choosing the Your Mom tribe, which gave me a 25% boost in attack and defense power, and a 1% boost in walking power, so I could completely destroy everyone in my area. I also killed them in real life, so my IRL power increased with my in-game power. Sadly, you are just too stupid to understand my intellectual abilities. That's great. Uh, look, let me send you the, the Alliance invitation. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm your new Alliance leader now. What? Yeah, this is literally just Darman videos now. You got some catching up to do. <laughs> These ads are portraying the fandom as super toxic. Like, if you don't have seven digits of power, you should just die. Freaking loser, not my problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You got 5 million power in just one day? Did you cheat? The only thing she cheated with is your boyfriends. Those are some really unloyal boyfriends. Like, maybe just don't hang out with them at all. What if the King Seven- The King Seven. ...comes in here? They're gonna be drooling all over her if she walks into the cafe. You wish. I chose the Japanese civilization when I started out. Easy as pie. Freaking loser, not my problem. Mmm, mm, the sweet taste of people dying on the inside. <laughs> Before I watch this video, I just want to say that the URL has AHA blood in it. Just a note. 50,000? That's just pathetic, man. That's just segregation, but with a fictional statistic. What about people who don't play the game? Never mind. In this universe, everyone, and I mean everyone, plays the game. Grannies and two-year-olds alike. School is dedicated to figuring out how to get the most power. Instead of donating food to Africa, you donate Rise of Kingdoms power to them. Imagine Mr. Beast in this universe. The last person to leave the circle wins a hundred million power in Rise of Kingdoms. You should take the next one. Hold the elevator! Ow! 20 million power? Teach me! Oh man! You chose the wrong civilization to begin with! He's a redhead, can't really blame him. Be nicer to minorities. If you want the upper hand from the get-go, you can't go wrong with the Vikings. Again, another ad telling me how overpowered the Vikings are. Led by Commander Ragnar. Did someone just press eject person closest to the door button? Because no one shoved him out. <laughs> Good luck! No, no, let me, come on, come on. Bro, he just got his nose crushed by the elevator door. Sparta! Sparta! I'll definitely get Sparta! What?! How did I get the Vikings?! I don't think the game chose for you, I think you just accidentally put your finger on the screen. 
Also, in the previous ads, it says you could switch civilizations at any time, so what's the big deal? Ah, this wasteland has no resources at all! This guy is absolutely furious, and he hasn't even started playing the game yet. He'd make a good Twitch streamer. Huh. Gotta farm and fish first. Berserkers must be warm and well-fed before training. <sighs> this place is developing so fast! I thought I had no resources. Pick a side. Hey! Wait, what?! <laughs> no more resources! Oh, we're just gonna ignore all those trees literally right next to your city? Alright. I'm moving to Sparta, where resources are everywhere! <laughs> hey bro, your place looks fine, huh? <laughs> In a second, it's all gonna be mine! With the power of Vikings, this whole land is mine! <laughs> Calm down, fam. You just crushed some random six-year-old's dreams. In all of history, which civilization is the most powerful? <laughs> what? Is this Pawn Stars? Why Pawn Stars? That has nothing to do with this game. The Vikings are the strongest. They're brave, and their axes are very strong. The Vikings are unbeatable. There are so many pro-Vikings ads. What, is Scandinavia using all their IKEA money to sponsor Rise of Kingdoms ads? You might be wrong, Dad. I just played the Vikings in Rise of Kingdoms, but I lost the Korean civilization. Oh, well, let me see. Well, that's because Korea has a 3% technology bonus. They're acting like 3% is a big number. That's literally 3 one hundredths. Their technology development is far ahead of yours. They're already unlocked higher level legions. The guy in the ad says there, but the captions say the grammatically correct option, which is they've. This guy basically said, they are already unlocked higher level legions, which is just wrong. You haven't even unlocked your berserkers yet. Caption spelt berserkers wrong. Berserker? Bearsucker? They can't even spell berserker and you expect me to think they made a good game? So no wonder you lost. So technology's a big deal. Oh yeah, you have to remember the discovery of bronze and iron. How do you spell so badly? Oh yeah, you have to remember the discovery of bronze and iron. Pushed ahead humanity. So the development of technology in Rise of Kingdoms also improves the strengths of different civilizations. The key is understanding how to use the right strategy to improve technology in different time periods. I have watched this ad so many times and I cannot decipher the jargon this guy is spurring out and what it has to do with this game. Someone help me. And when the Vikings invade, fight a war of attrition, hoard all our resources and wait it out. Start as France, fill up Joan of Arc's skill points, have plenty of food indoors, and BAM! Mmm, that delicious wood. <laughs> the Vikings are by kings. Oh, come on. I make atrocious puns all the time. Now that's just terrible. It's torture. Not a chance. This is the Vikings we're talking about. The best plunderers in ROK. Okay. Stopping their siege is impossible. Resistance would be futile. Your hoarded food would be stolen. You're better off just surrendering and joining them. The Vikings are definitely tough, but I don't think they've ever faced Germany head to head, have they? This is so bad it's unbelievable, like the lip sync didn't even match and that was the most obvious cut between two takes I have ever seen in my life. General Herman is one of the finest garrison commanders in Rise of Kingdoms. He can launch a surprise attack on those stupid Vikings. They won't even reach the city walls. If they don't even reach the city walls, then it's not a surprise attack, it's just creepily watching some other person's castle. And I did! I'm beaten by the tiny civilization! <laughs> This guy is having a mental breakdown over a stupid phone game. Like seriously, see a therapist or something. Ta-da! Look what we've got! Fried chicken, french fries, juicy burgers. All your favorite. These people are gonna accidentally create Nikado Avocado too. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm in no mood for fries unless I can have my revenge on China. How do I increase my power quickly? Are you talking about Rise of Kingdom? Yeah. Let me see. You are playing as the Vikings. Their 5% infantry attack buff and 3% counterattack damage buff are extremely useful in wars. Her voice tone is acting like the Vikings are complete garbage, but her lines are complimenting them. Make up your mind. China, on the other hand, has 5% building speed bonus. Racing China in city construction is pointless. Whoa. If this guy really wanted some food, he could just take one hand off the phone and grab some for himself. You know what I think? I think he just wants to suck her fingers. Sneaky guy. Vikings don't need to build, just go and fight for what you want. With a 10% troop load bonus, you can pillage more in progress quickly. Your civilization can be sustained and expanded by waging wars. China won't even uh. dare touch you. Sustain a civilization by waging wars? I should try this! Wow! It has been one second. Calm down. You didn't even touch the screen. Hi, honey.
That is the Sigma grind set right there. He ain't got no time for smooching girls. He gotta get back to his Rise of Kingdoms role-playing club. I'm almost broke. Could you help me out? Sure, no problem. Have some gold. Wait, Infinity? This guy has infinite resources? Is that just a thing in the game or is he hacking? Also, last time I checked, wood is not gold. Otherwise, Johnny Appleseed would have been a trillionaire. Thanks, Dave. You really saved my butt. <laughs> Wait a second. This middle-aged husband is catfishing these random ladies who are probably also catfishes by using a younger version of the Chad GIF guy as his profile picture. Also, 999 million power. According to the laws of this universe, this guy should have like 56 girlfriends and be the dictator of some random island in the Pacific Ocean by now. A little help over here, Dave. Being attacked? Let me just take care of that for you. You're a lifesaver. I owe you big time. Listen, ladies, it's just too dangerous to be left out here alone. Why don't you both move in with me? Let me protect you? Sounds good. You're my hero. Okay, this ad is just getting super uncomfortable now. Listen, Sarah Michelle, I'm just a guy trying to look after my two favorite girls. What? <gasps> FTS cheating on his wife. This guy really does not care. He talks about cheating on his wife who is in hearing range. Everyone in this universe is mentally insane. So, according to these ads, if we were to live in a reality dominated by Rise of Kingdoms, society would barely function. Like, the internet has already destroyed humanity enough, but making them obsess over this phone game would push everyone to their limits. The entirety of humanity in this world doesn't care about your race or gender or class, they just care about your power level. And what's the biggest thing I can take out of this? I want to play the envelope slap game. 